doing? I will. <laughs> you struggling? Stop. Packing. Brett's new EDC. Can't even tell I'm packing. Boom, Desert Eagle. We are back today with another pawn shop challenge. And this one is gonna be a very unique one because it's actually dedicated to a viewer named Jimmy. I ran into him at Beltway Gun and Pond in Matthews, North Carolina, and he was actually doing a road trip from Augusta, Georgia with some of his friends. Now, unfortunately, Jimmy's battling some stuff right now, and it's not the greatest. So this one is dedicated to him, the cool group of people. So we are calling this challenge Old School Cool. Not because Jimmy's necessarily older, but because when these guys were traveling from pawn shop to pawn shop, they were following the path of our pawn shop videos, which I thought was absolutely awesome. They found some really cool old school guns. They were buying them along the way. So we're gonna do that today, a versus challenge. We're gonna find old school cool guns with some type of old school element. And we're also looking for deals but let's get on the road. So we just pulled up to Beltway Gun and Pawn and this is where we met Jimmy. They were also traveling through, went to Shooters Express in Gastonia and they also went to Lead Therapy in Kings Mountain. Definitely give Jimmy some positive comments in the comment section below as he's going through his battle right now. But let's see what these guys have for the old school cool challenge. Hey. Now, if you can't find something old school cool, <laughs> Old school cool at Beltway, you're doing something wrong. These guys have a massive selection of surplus rifles, SKSs, and a ton of really cool items. We're gonna be digging through, and they also have an entire collectible Colt case, as well as an entire collectible Smith & Wesson case. Probably some of the largest, um, uh, most extensive collection of revolvers that I've seen in one location. These guys also have a ton of surplus handguns, whether it be post-World War II or pre-World War II, and they've got a lot of interesting guns, like the FN 1922, a lot of Walther P38s and P ones and a lot of lugers again some of the the most extensive collection of surplus handguns i've seen at any one location in person we're also going to be looking for different accessories and there was something here the other day that i want to show brett um <laughs> it's pretty cool it's this bad boy right here brett Thank you. <laughs> yeah, an electric jackhammer it does not fit in the challenge in any way whatsoever but that thing so heavy. is super heavy so this was on the shotgun rack. It's a double barrel stagecoach 20 gauge. Now that is pretty old school cool. I don't have anything like this, so it is going in the pile to probably negotiate on and see what we can do. I'm not 100% sure. We're kind of on a budget today, but this one is a fairly good price, so we'll see what we can work out. I did have my heart set, though, on some interesting revolvers, maybe something a surplus, but uh, who knows? We'll see, but this is a great option. So Scott's gonna help us look at some of these old school ones right here. Definitely not grabbing it, but I wanted to take, <laughs> wanted to take a look at it. Uh, that is definitely old school cool right there. Yep. They also have some very interesting Smiths and black powder revolvers, an entire lineup. Do you mind if I see that kind of snub nose one right there? Yeah, that one. That is really slick. Now, I've got a couple of black powder revolvers, but honestly, I've never taken them out to shoot them. A lot of fun. This one is pretty slick right there. Yeah. That's a copy of a Scottish Highland pistol. Um, they had a very short grip. It was meant just to be grabbed with a couple of fingers. It is a flint lock. So it would be a sort of an early to mid 18th century design. And it's a about a 58 or 60 caliber. That is pretty cool. That is really cool. Yeah. These guys, these guys also have a ton of surplus rifles from World War II. They've got some classic stuff and new modern production things like this Tommy gun right here. They also have a ton of accessories like bayonets and helmets and jackets. So you got to come check them out. These are all a little bit out of our price range for today, but I wanted to show you guys what they have the offer in the old school challenge because I'm going to give you to the count of three to get your lousy lion, no good stinking keister off my property before I pump you full of lead. You find something, Brett? Oh, you're in danger. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't think you can. 
bigger. I got a large <laughs> noggin. These guys also have a ton of great modern day stuff. You know, since today we're focusing on old school cool, it's really limited me on what I'm gonna grab here. The only thing that's drawn my interest is that 20 gauge double barrel, and I'm not quite sure if that's what I was after. Again, we got two more shops today, so we'll see what comes of it. But there is so much good stuff here, just not particularly for the challenge. So we had a great time, but we didn't find anything for the challenge. On to the next shop in the Trail of Jimmy to see what we can't find at the next one. Jim. Just pulled up to Shooter's Express in Belmont. We're going to see what these guys have here. The last time they were here, we bought way too much stuff because they had a lot of cool consignments. We'll see what they have, but I have a feeling they keep rotating through some new consignments, and I'm probably going to get something. You know, I got so much love in the last video for my Glock. I think I might pick up another one. Just only buy, only buy Glocks from now on for Brett. I found something cool. Look at this. That is a, what is that, a Mossberg? Uh, 500. Yeah. Old school. That's, that's the definition of old school cool right there. That's like the 80s come alive in a bullpup shotgun configuration. That's, looks like the slide release is right back there if you wanted to rack the action. That is crazy looking that is too cool right there i don't know i've never seen more square plastic in one place <laughs> and this though is a dpms ar10 749 buyers club price so the cool thing is, is when you come in here you can actually sign up for their buyers club and get a deeper discount and that is a really awesome old school cool ar10 I don't know if it's on the list for today, but that's a good opportunity. And uh, we set the bull pup back down for now. We were looking around and these guys actually have the opposite of old school cool. They've got the new school hollow sun thermal here. This is actually the first time I've seen it in the wild and it looks like they've got two of them. So, hey, this is a good opportunity to snag one of those. They also have a ton of AKs, including it looks like a ZPAP in the back right there and a few other uh, smaller uh, AKPs. So a lot of good opportunities to snag some really cool stuff. And again, when you come in here, make sure you are looking up at the ceiling. So when you come all the way to the back, they have an entire used case. And this is always changing. And something new that popped up that really is awesome is this guy right here. Now this is a Smith & Wesson Model 10, which seems fairly common, except for it's the snub nose version. And the buyer's club price is $4.22, and it's got the box. So this is definitely going in the pow and jumped right over the top of that Mossberg, uh, for me personally anyways. So, um, yeah, we're going to start talking about this one, and Brett's still hunting some things. So we grab the revolver. The Mossberg's still sitting over there if you happen to swing in, and uh, Brett's still looking for his thing. He's getting a little sleepy. Getting. Again, keeping us safe in the evening so he can do pawn shop videos during the day. So we just pulled up to lead therapy on the outskirts of Kings Mountain. We're going to go in. Brett still needs to find something. They got pulled over. They got pulled over. <laughs> they were going. They would go too fast, but we're going to go in here. Now, Jimmy and his buddy stopped in here as well, took a bunch of pictures with the owners. These guys are really cool, so we're going to head in there and see what they've got. These guys actually have a Sastava for a really, really good price. We may have to take a look at that one in a second, and they also have the new Ruger American Gen 2s. They also have an entire lineup of lever action rifles. So when you come in here, there are so many uh, new guns here. There's a lot of different offerings and they're always getting some of the latest and greatest stuff. Um, they've got an entire section of Berettas, moving on to Rugers, and we'll kind of keep digging through to see what they have, but they also have a used section we're gonna be taking a look at as well. I found some sparkly ones for you, Britt. Oh, he's got his eyes on something. He's locked in. He's locked. He's locked in. Here's some stuff right here. Oh, that is a really good price on this uh, Ruger Wrangler. That's probably the cheapest I've seen one, and it looks in really good condition. There's also a Gen 4 Glock. That doesn't really uh, fit the bill for today, but that's definitely an old school gun, even though it's a new production. The, the, barn, the, the Barney Sky is calling my name. That is pretty interesting for the glitter skies <laughs> if that's what you want the that's pretty so sky <laughs> mm -hmm. 
pretty slick right there that is a pretty good one and a pretty good deal and there's like every version of the sig 320 possible in here even some of the new ones with the x5s there is a lot yeah i've noticed too a lot of manufacturers are starting to make them in 410 there's that is that a rossi yeah those those Where? new rossi lever guns right here i've been really looking at those lately i love that the finish on that one and this one's pretty cool that's a 357 38 special large loop right there there's an hk93 behind you <laughs> i've never seen one in person before that's pretty cool definitely out of the price range for today I but could, i could swing that old school cool for sure this thing is really slick and Definitely calling my name. I think if I hadn't already got something today, this would be on the list. Now, this one looks like a, yeah, a new gun, but it's a pretty good price for what a lot of these have been going for recently. Well, Brett's starting some paperwork on the Ruger Wrangler, and I'm digging through the cases still, and they've got the Glock 28. Now, I haven't tried that yet, but it seems to be a fairly good price on this one right here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Have you guys tried one of the new Glock 28s yet? I've kind of heard mixed reviews. It'll be interesting to hear what you guys think. So Brett picked up the Ruger Wrangler and we're heading back to the range. But before we do, I want to give a huge shout out to Lead Therapy as well as all the other shops for letting us film. Again, we were doing this in honor of Jimmy. He actually traveled to each of these shops from Augusta, Georgia because he saw the channel. And I thought, man, that was cool, especially with what he's got going on right now. So again, your prayers and your positive comments will be great in the description below. But the other thing I want to mention is Lead Therapy is actually going to be giving away t-shirts for the next seven days after this video post but you have to show up in person mention 704 tactical and mention this pawn shop challenge the old school cool one and for seven days they're giving out a free t-shirt go in there check them out and some of the other places we dropped off stickers so you can head over there now we actually ran out of stickers but something big is happening this week with a lot of good opportunities so subscribe to the channel but hey let's get to the range and do some shooting we made a pit stop, grabbed some ammo. Brett grabbed his rig, which is for a 357 38, but it fits that 22 pretty good. And here is that Smith revolver. We're gonna be doing some shooting with these, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Who think got the better deal on an old school cool gun? But let's take some shots and see how these things do. Six shots of New Republic 38 Special loaded up. I actually picked that up from Target Sports USA in their Ammo Plus membership service. When you sign up for that, you actually get 8% off and free shipping with no order minimums. So even if you pick up something like this, you can add one or two boxes to your cart and get free shipping. So uh, pretty cool, but let's take the very first shots. Uh, it's cowpoke brett ready to show off his uh pawn shop or gun shop find let's see what you got it's not gonna be much showing off <laughs> that's pretty good brett that's real good so we are done today. Vote in the comment section below if you think this one. Again, to summarize, I paid just a touch over $400 for a Smith & Wesson Model 10 Old School Cool Snub Nose Just uh, Fixed Hammer Special. This thing is absolutely awesome, and I obviously think I win. But Brett did find. Got the Ruger Wrangler in 22. Doesn't get much more old school cool than old Western on a single action frame. 130 used not super fond of the finish on it but i think i came out on top on this one it was a great pawn shop find video i loved making this one it was an absolute blast again a huge shout out to the shops that let us film there go give them a support and tell them 704 tactical sent you over also again this was dedicated or just in honor of jimmy again he's struggling with something right now he made that trip all the way from augusta Georgia to travel the pawn shops that i went to i thought that was absolutely awesome again leave him some love in the comment section below thanks for watching guys have a good one.